Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Maxim Garachit. I'm a security researcher at Positive Technologies. Uh, unfortunately, my sole speaker couldn't be here today, and I'm talking alone. Uh, you may have heard about our previous research about Intel ME, such as uh, high assurance uh, program BIT, which allows to disable ME or about vulnerability which we found last year. And today I'm going to talk about vulnerability which we found in Apple MacBook uh, laptops uh, approximately one year ago. Really, I think this bug is a result from one hand uh, growing complexity of chip uh, design and from other hand uh, security through obscurity principle. As a result, uh, even gained manufacturers such as Apple uh, not immune to configuration mistakes on Intel platforms. So, uh, let me give you motivation and retrospective of our research. As we probably know, uh, we found the bug at, uh, which allows to execute uh, unsigned code uh, in Intel ME 11 version. Uh, it uh, called Intel SA000 86 and uh, this vulnerability have a small restriction. For successful exploitation of the vulnerability, there is one uh, disease condition, and attacker must have a right access to an E region of SPI flash chip. It's hard for a local attacker uh, on, on a properly configured platform. And, uh, of course, uh, not in the case when attacker has uh, physical access. And we didn't stop on it. Uh, we were looking for a solution for bypassing uh, this restriction. And as a result, we found several undocumented uh, commands which enable uh, overwriting SPI flash memory and implementing uh, the doomsday scenario, local exploitation of Intel ME vulnerability. Uh, at the root of this problem is an undocumented Intel ME mod called manufacturing mod. Actually, today I will uh, touch a lot of uh, many aspects of hardware implementation, uh, modern Intel platforms. I will give you short information about Intel ME. Uh, that after that, I will show you uh, how you may using uh, manufacturing mode for writing uh, ME firmware. And we will look deeper on PCH uh, for bypassing some other protection. Uh, now I'm going to give uh, uh, some information about ME briefly and vulnerability which we found last year. Uh, what is the Intel ME? How many people know what is it? Please hand up. Okay. Good. Uh, first, it's almost uh, undocumented and very powerful at the same uh, time. For example, uh, it uh, has full access to your platform's hardware, including CPU complex. Uh, it has capabilities to intercept uh, all that you're doing on the PC. Uh, for example, because P uh, PCH, its uh, main point. Uh, in you, uh, modern computers, Intel computers, uh, all uh, devices uh, links with it. Uh, for example, PCH devices, uh, PCI devices, uh, USB devices, and many other. And it also a root of trust for many modern Intel security features like TPM, right, like uh, DRAM, boot guard, and uh, some others. Uh, Intel has chosen the following uh, the 
following design for ME11. Uh, independent iX86 uh, core. Uh, really, in PCH, we found about, uh, okay, maybe five uh, microcontrollers, three, uh, it is uh, x86 core, and one, it is uh, arc core. And uh, Intel's uh, choosing Minix, uh, such operation system for, for this firmware. Uh, ME gets started before main CPU, and its firmware uh, has a parts in PCH burned in uh, into OTP memory, one-time uh, program uh, programmable memory, and uh, in the SPA flash. Uh, now a little bit of formal description of the vulnerability. Uh, from the of, uh, official security advisory uh, for the vulnerability, it has high CVSS rating, uh, and as now it has uh, has the local exploitation vectors. This vector will be the main point of my talk. Uh, also, uh, you can find uh, on the slides affected platforms, uh, all platforms affected desktop, uh, mobile, servers manufactured after uh, 2015 years. And if you want to play with ME, uh, on our GitHub you can find step-by-step uh, -step instruction for exploitation this vulnerability on Gigabyte Bricks platform. Also, you can activate uh, to activate JTAG for ME Core, and it gives you uh, access to internal memory, to internal devices, into PCH. Uh, for example, I, I don't know. Uh, for example, access to internal um, buses such as IUSF, uh, such as primary PCI, and many others. Okay. As already said, an attacker uh, must have right access to ME, uh, access to ME region of SPI flash for successful exploitation uh, of the vulnerability. Uh, but how can he get it? Uh, we saw several ways. Uh, in the first, incorrect flash descriptor settings. Uh, UEFI build, uh, also, uh, UEFI builds implementation. There are problems in settings of many region in the SPI flash descriptor and processing of the UEFI, uh, setup variable and builds. Also, having physical access, uh, physical access to the SPI flash attacker uh, or platform, or platform jumpers, uh, makes all this, uh, system vulnerable because, uh, you, um, he, um, he can downgrade, uh, an EV version, uh, without any problem. Uh, so we met many system working in so-called uh, Intel ME manufacturing mode. This mode also can help to attacker. So let's explain how attacker do it. I need to give info I need to give information about SP implementation in the modern systems. So uh, SP flash is just memory chip in uh, your motherboard. Uh, flash memory chip, yeah. Uh, SPI memory divide into several region, uh, and Intel ME was located in separate SPI regions that had independent access rights for the CPU, uh, descriptor region, uh, and GBA. Uh, so as long access attributes were correctly configured, it was impossible to read or write ME from the CPU side. 
Uh, however, current SPA controllers uh, for Intel chipsets uh, have a special mechanism called master grant. Uh, this mechanism assigns a strictly defined uh, portion of SPA flash to each SPA master. A master controller is particular region uh, regardless of the access rights indicated in SPA descriptor. Each master can provide access uh, for its region uh, to any other masters it wishes. Uh, it's on, on the table. For example, uh, BIOS can read descriptor region. Uh, also, it can read or write BIOS region and couldn't have uh, any uh, read-write uh, attempts uh, to ME or GB region, for example. And also ME can read uh, BIOS region, descriptor region, and write to ME region. But sometimes uh, for some vendors, this table looks like that. All uh, all masters can read or write everything. Uh, we tested some kind of platforms and received following results. On all gigabyte platforms, SPI descriptor isn't configured. Interesting that Apple gives read access to EMU region and uh, we didn't find any security issue in this fact uh, because ME, all ME security sensitive data or sign or encrypted uh, and if you can read this region uh, you couldn't encrypt it the data in, for example, SPI uh, uh, on MFS partition of ME, uh, file system of ME. Uh, also, uh, how I already said, uh, attacker can rewrite any region using special jumper which uh, chooses hardware PCH strap. Some manufacturers give access to this strap via dock station. Uh, socket uh, and this is the most interesting that uh, also a platform is required to have uh, special settings and BIOS, BIOS uh, somewhere called uh, flash rewrite enable uh, having this an attacker can rewrite uh, can write exploit into the ME region but how does it work uh, we found that BIOS sends special message where uh, hitch interface. And a few words about hitch interface. Uh, it's interface uh, designed for local communication between CPU and management engine. HCI is a transport for many service protocols are used by various models inside ME. Uh, HCI is PCH device built in uh, PCH uh, and just look uh, it uh, looks like a ring buffer device. You have a two pointer and uh, ME push data in this ring buffer and CPU read uh, from another side uh, and uh, CPU also push data in ring buffer and ME get it. Also, um, Intel implements a special hatching commands that allows opening write access to ME SPI region on the CPU side. Uh, the command called HMRFPO, uh, host ME region flash protection override. Uh, after receiving the HMRFPO command, uh, Intel ME opens access to the region only after reset. And 
Intel ME itself also includes security measures. The command in accepted uh, only then the UEFI views is owners of the platform boot process. Prior of different HCI commands called end of post. It sends uh, the UEFI to ME before exit boot services. Uh, and you, as a result, you couldn't send uh, HMR FPO command from operation system by default. Uh, ME drop it. And uh, on the slides, so you can see as HMR for handling, uh, HMR for handling procedure. Uh, after, po after power on, uh, ME loading kernel. Uh, after that, ME starting a special module called BAP, uh, the, uh, the starting CPU. Uh, CPU uh, is initializing memory. Uh, and after that, uh, CPU sent uh, another c command, uh, in, in another uh, HCA command uh, called this, the RAM in it done. Uh, ME writing this command. Uh, and uh, BIOS loading the XE drivers and uh, initializing another uh, hardware. And uh, on the last step, BIOS sent end of uh, post message to ME. And after receiving this uh, command, ME locking con uh, configura internal configuration. After that steps, you couldn't uh, send, for example, HMR of PO or DIT command. And Really, it's, but really procedure looks like this. Uh, ME checking on this step that manufacturer mode is active, active, and, uh, he drop, uh, end of post message and, uh, doesn't lock configuration. And after that, you, uh, can send, uh, message, uh, in any time. HMRFPO or DIT, for example. Uh, the for the manufacturing mode, uh, in, in manufacturing mode, uh, Intel ME, uh, accepts HMRFPO at any time. As a result, if uh, the manufacturing mode has failed to close manufacture uh, to close manufacturing an attacker can alter intel me at any time of course uh, you need admin rights but uh, even uh, the os kernel internally cannot rewrite intel me for example at this stage uh, at, uh, the attacker can refresh the me region uh, such as to exploit vulnerability or to do brick with your platform. Because, uh, ME, it, uh, now ME is bring up your platform, uh, on the power on stage. So, uh, a few words about, uh, manufacturing mode. Really, Intel ME manufacturing mod is intended uh, for configuration and testing of, end plat uh, of the end platform during manufacturing, uh, and as such should be disabled or closed before sale and uh, shipments to user. However, it's uh, this mod and its potential risks are not described anywhere in Intel's public documentation. Uh, ordinary users don't have any able to disable this mod since uh, their uh, relevant utility uh, is not uh, called 
this utility called uh, Intel ME systems, uh, system tools. And uh, this utility is not officially available. Uh, as a result, ordinary users uh, can, could, couldn't switch off this mod uh, manually. As a result, uh, there is no software uh, that can protect or uh, even notify the user if this mod is enabled uh, for whatever reasons. This mod allows configuring critical platform settings stored in uh, fuses. It's uh, also on time uh, programmable memory. These settings include uh, boot guard uh, configuration. Uh, looks like uh, mods, policy, uh, hash, and uh, digital signature key for ACA module and uh, and ICH. Uh, firmware, many, many uh, important settings you can uh, repro uh, you can um, skip if uh, manufacturing mode is activated. Uh, activated. Uh, also, I show how it works. Uh, we. We, uh, we saw that if uh, manufacturing mode activated and on the one hand and from uh, one other hand, uh, what's happened when uh, we send uh, HMR for command in this mode? Uh, so on the start, uh, ME BAP module uh, into ME reading uh, file HMR PO uh, from file system. And uh, if this uh, file contained uh, zero, uh, ME just reading HCI message, and if uh, he received end of post, he locked configuration, uh, or uh, and waiting uh, HMR of power. If HMR of power received, uh, ME set uh, non zero value at uh, file on the file system. And after that, uh, on the next reset of the platform, of, of the ME, uh, ME get access to uh, region because uh, it set uh, read write access in uh, uh, SPI controller. Uh, we analyzed several platforms uh, from a number of manufacturing and we found that Apple laptops on the Intel chipsets are running in manufacturing mode. It means that uh, on all Apple platforms you can, uh, okay, uh, on all modern Intel platforms you can exploit it, our vulnerability uh, without any problem and with local uh, local privileges. But Apple computers contains an additional check in the UEFI which uh, runs even, uh, even the UEFI is launched. And this uh, check, uh, check blocks startup of the system if the ME region has been opened with HMRF power. However, as well we'll show here, uh, this mechanism can be easily bypassed. But challenge accepted, we need to look deeper uh, in the platform, on the platform. A few words about platform reset. Uh, today computers can be restarted in several different ways. The documented version includes a global reset and reset of main CPU only without resetting ME. It's a piece of public Intel documentation uh, which uh, 
managed uh, public, public reset functionality via uh, special port. And it looks like that. You have global reset when ME and CPU uh, are starting, and we have soft reset when only CPU are starting, not ME. But the ordinary question, uh, is ME uh, reset without, uh, without CPU? If you, if, uh, if answered yes, uh, it means that we uh, may, uh, we can reboot ME and ME opened, uh, the access to SPI region without, uh, and in this time we are working in operation system. It means that we loading operation system, uh, send some comments, send, uh, sending some comments, and after that, any description is opened. Okay, so uh, when we explored uh, the internal ME models, we discovered another HCI command for a reset only in E. Full description of this command you can find there. Uh, it's, uh, if I, if I correctly, uh, three means, uh, in ERZ, one means global RZ, and two means, uh, on, on last the word, uh, and two means, uh, soft RZ. Additionally, this command can be sent at any time, even after end of post. So, therefore, an attacker sends the, uh, these two commands, HCI commands, and opens the ME region. After that, he can write arbitrary uh, data there without having to reset the platform as a whole. And it doesn't even matter that SPI uh, descriptor contains correctly set uh, protection attributes. Uh, this will not protect ME from modification if the system is running in manufacturing mode. As a result, change done. It, it means what? Uh, you need to do three easy steps. On first steps, you send a message HMR of power. ME set, uh, internal, on internal file system, the special flags. Uh, after that, attackers, on, on the second step, attackers send, uh, send, uh, ME, ME reset command. And ME found these flags, uh, and give access to region, ME region. Of course, you need access to HCI uh, device and SPI device, but it is based uh, rules for all firmware uh, attacks. So, small demo. Okay, uh, it is Mac, uh, MacBook Pro, uh, and you can see that manufacturing mode, uh, on this laptop is enabled, the second, uh, lines, and we, we see that, uh, access to ME on write is disabled. You couldn't rewrite ME image as a result. And we get, we are getting base address for HCCI device. And we are sending the first command. 
Uh, so uh, I forgot. Uh, we doing inter we are EFE shell because we don't want to write uh, a driver for macOS because uh, it is not uh, as we uh, think it is not um, show you how you can send these commands into ME and we do uh, uh, we, we did it we, we are EFE shell okay so uh, after that we send this, the, the first command. Uh, we send a command, which means uh, the OK in E, command ready. We get status from ME, ME answer, ME read the value, the command, and this, we are sending the second command. On this step, ME after that, uh, opening, uh, will open, uh, will open, uh, ME region. We, we send second command. We send command ready. And now we are dumping ME region and rewrite it on U value without any problem. Oh, okay. Sorry. One moment. Okay. After this information was reported at, at Apple, the vulnerability was patched in macOS and uh, High Sierra in this update, uh, and uh, also. We exploiting uh, this vulnerability by exploiting this vulnerability, an attacker could write old version of Intel ME uh, to memory without needing an SPI program uh, programmer or access to jumper. In other words, without any physical access to, to the computer. Uh, thus, a local vector is possible for exploitation of. Uh, Intel SA00086, which enables running arbitrary code into ME. So, uh, to keep users safe, we decided to describe how to check the status of manufacturing mode and how to disable it. Uh, the first it's uh, Intel's utility ME info, which we already sell. Uh, actually, users do, uh, doesn't have access to this utility. It's only for manufacturer. Uh, but we also created a program, a simple script on the Python uh, for checking the status of manufacturing mode. Uh, on slide, you can see output of the script on vulnerable system and uh, also links at github where you can uh, download it and ch ch checking your computer uh, in the famous file, uh, firmware util chipsec also had been added a test on the manufacturing mode several days ago maybe maybe 5 days maybe 7 I don't remember. Uh, so on, on the logical question is how user can close manufacturing mode, uh, themselves if the manufacturer has failed to do so. For example, on gigabyte platforms. Uh, to disable manufacturing mods, uh, you can use FTP, FPT, 
Uh, FPT has a special options, close MANAF, uh, that is additional to its main purpose, also allows setting the recommended access rights for SPI flash region in the descriptor. Uh, and you can see uh, the result, the output of uh, of this utility on the screen. Okay, in summary, uh, the ability to reset ME without uh, resetting the main CPU may lead to yet additional security issues uh, because it is uh, not all hard, uh, firmware understand that ME can re uh, reset without main, uh, main CPU. And uh, also, we, sh uh, uh, we show how you can uh, exploit it, uh, how you can bypass restriction, uh, which we found uh, in another vulnerability. We found one vulnerability, after that we found the second vulnerability for bypass restriction for the first vulnerability. And it's, this is, this is, this is that I think it's, if you have any questions, also you can find the full paper of this research on our blog and also you can get uh, utility and uh, proof of concept of our exploit on the, our GitHub. Thank you very much for your attention.